I'm here to discuss some advanced techniques with Word. I'm using 2016. We're going to be doing references, footnotes, table of contents, and I'm going to add some styles to this. We have this paper. I copied this off of Wikipedia. And the first thing I want to do is a footnote. A footnote is not a footer. A footnote is referring this. So I could click after this paragraph. I'm on the references tab. You can do a footnote. An end note appears at the very end on the final page. I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to just type in source. Wicca. should put a capital W on it. We have that. And the great thing here, it shows a little one here. And let's say I want to add another footnote here. It's going to renumber it. I could say insert footnote. They only live in Asia. Anything I say is not scientific. But you can see how it reordered it. So we've done that. Next thing, we might have a section here. I'm in the taxonomy section here. This is the tiger file if you want to work with it. And let's say I want to add a citation. I'm on references. And you have different styles. It depends on the one you're going to follow or use here. It depends if you're in college or something. Let's say it's the Chicago style. You're going to insert a citation. You could add a new source or a placeholder. The source is what you would typically do. And what I'm going to do, let's say it is a magazine. And I can make up a name. And I could just say National Geographic. 1999, July 30 through 40. And I say OK. So it shows it right there, Smith there. You can edit it if you need to, because let's say it was spelled S-M-Y-T-H. You could edit it. So you've got that in here. Also going to add a bibliography at the end too. And what I want to do, I want to talk about styles. This is a style here. I'm on the home tab. It says heading one. Let's say you want to modify it. You want it to look orange like a tiger. So I right click in it to modify it. I could change the color, make it a dark orange. I could change the font. You can do a lot of things in here. And I'll just make it a little larger. Here's your sample here. And what it does, it changes it throughout the entire document. Very nice method. Other thing I'm going to show you at this point. <clears throat> if I want to do a table of contents, I'm going to go to the beginning. Hit the enter key a couple of times. I want it to be the normal style. I click on normal and I want to just put a table of contents in here and I'm going to click on again references table of contents it's based on the top three styles and I could do this one here automatic table one you've got the contents in there that's not the style in here but it's showing things here. Sorry about that little delay. It does happen. I always say save your work constantly. So next thing as I was going to say, we did the table of contents. We did the footnote. We talked about styles. We did the references here. I want to talk about a bibliography. Control END takes you to the end and I'm going to force the page break and I'm on references and it shows a bunch of things in here where is the bibliography so I'm gonna go bibliography right here references here works cited I'm gonna click on works cited I'm gonna click in here it's actually showing Dave Smith in here 
does it automatically for you. Next thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about collapsing styles. This is interesting, especially with a huge document. I'm going to click on View. And do you see where it says Outline? I click on Outline. I want to say Show the Level here. Click here on Level 1. It's showing things here. Let's say I want to put Characteristics above. I click and drag it here. I could also click on the plus here. It shows the whole section. It moves everything in that one section. I'm going to close out the, this view. Now, what it did, it rearranged the page numbering. I could right click inside here and I say update field. I'm going to say entire table here. You're going to see the page numbers change. It includes a bibliography, other things. So this is a quick nutshell of doing a term paper.